Welcome to the Friday edition of the Tech Stocks Daily Podcast. Buckle up, because today we're diving into a jumbo-sized Google update. They're rolling out slick new features, AI integrations, and navigating courtroom drama. Reddit stock is soaring thanks to a blockbuster partnership with OpenAI, and we'll tell you why this is a game changer. Microsoft is shaking up the gaming world with a new Call of Duty release on Game Pass, plus some spicy regulatory challenges in the EU. Lastly, Zscaler's got waves in the options market and a riveting security report. Stay tuned for all the juicy details. Today's tech news is buzzing with Google updates, and honestly, where do we start? Let's unpack the jam-packed docket of Google's adventures. From rolling out new features and fighting legal battles, to making strides in AI integration and reminding us why it continues to be a tech behemoth. First up, Google's got a massive new addition for the Google Contacts app. They've debuted a notifications widget that'll let you keep an eye on your calls and messages right from your home screen. Picture it, a badged bell icon sitting there, waiting to notify you of your Aunt Susan's latest call, or the text from that friend who never stops sending memes. It's efficient, it's sleek, and it's designed to make sure you never miss anything important, or unimportant, really. Plus, they've introduced an organized tab, giving you tools to manage your contacts, set reminders, and even assign custom ringtones. It's like Google is saying, hey, let's get your contact list from zero to organized hero. But that's not all in the world of widgets and tabs. Google's been toying with ways to improve the experience within their apps. And recently, they pushed new Gemini AI assistants into Google Workspace apps like Gmail and Docs. Teaching AI to work for you means better productivity and easier workflows, with average AI prompts hanging around the sweet spot of 21 words. Essentially, they're championing efficiency wrapped in a neat little bow. Speaking of AI, OpenAI's ChatGPT is integrating Google Drive, a game changer for many as it allows users to pull files directly into conversations. While it's currently for select premium users, the broader rollout could make ChatGPT your go-to for anything from file management to answering emails. Just think, no more juggling between apps while trying to finish a task. Hold up though, let's not forget that Google's adding its own innovation with the all-new Project Game Face brought to Android. Originally designed as a hands-free gaming mouse for differently abled gamers, it's expanding to mobile devices. With facial gestures and head movements, this tool can control your smartphone or tablet, a leap towards greater accessibility and inclusivity. Now, for the less glitzy but equally important part, legal battles. Google made headlines by asking a judge, not a jury, to steer its antitrust case in Virginia. Google argues that the case's complexity makes it unsuitable for a jury. Imagine trying to explain the intricacies of ad tech markets to a jury potentially assembled from people who think cookies are just a tasty snack. In parallel, Google cut a hefty check to cover the damages the government claims were caused by their monopolistic practices. Strategic move, or just another chapter in a long, complex legal saga? And for the icing on the Google cake, they're making moves in education. With a focus on data privacy, Google is rolling out its Gemini AI to schools, taking steps to ensure that this AI won't gobble up student data for training purposes. This cautious approach is a nod to the increasing concerns around privacy and the responsible use of AI in educational settings. So there you have it a whirlwind tour of Google's latest endeavors. From rolling out new features to facing down courtroom drama, it's clear that Google remains at the forefront of tech innovation. Now, on to the rest of today's tech news. Hey tech enthusiasts, buckle up because Reddit is the hot topic today, and it's all about an explosive partnership with none other than OpenAI. That's right, the internet's favorite forum just inked a deal that's turning all the investor eyes and stirring up the AI pot. Let me break it down for you. First off, Reddit stock is soaring like an eagle, shooting up 14% by 11 a.m. ET, thanks to its newly announced alliance with OpenAI. If you're wondering why this is a big deal, let's just say it combines two of the internet's most powerful forces, Reddit's vast treasure trove of user-generated content and OpenAI's cutting-edge AI prowess, most notably, ChatGPT. For those not in the loop, OpenAI has made a name for itself with its wildly popular AI chatbot, ChatGPT. This AI wizard is known for summarizing online information into concise, easily digestible answers. With the new partnership, ChatGPT is now set to integrate Reddit's enormous library of discussions, debates, memes, and let's be honest, cat videos. This means that the chatbot's responses will now be flavored with the authentic, sometimes chaotic, but always fascinating content from Reddit's communities. Reddit CEO Steve Huffman emphasized how this move could really help people find exactly what they're looking for through a more connected internet. Both Huffman and OpenAI's COO Brad Lightcap expressed their excitement about how this partnership aligns with their broader goals of enhancing user experiences and reaching new audiences. Now what's in it for Reddit? A couple of things actually. One, this deal promises to increase Reddit's visibility and potentially grow its active user base by leveraging ChatGPT's reach. Two, it introduces new AI-powered features that could make the platform even more interactive and user-friendly. And don't forget, more users mean more ad revenue, a primary moneymaker for Reddit. According to industry analysts, the deal could boost Reddit's adjusted EBITDA by up to $54 million annually. That's some serious dough. On the investor side, Reddit went public in March and has been bagging substantial partnerships since. 
Before OpenAI, Reddit had already expanded its data licensing game with a deal from Google worth about $60 million annually. So, it's clear Reddit is not just sitting on its hands post-IPO, it's aggressively building new revenue streams beyond just ads. However, this isn't without its skeptics. Some analysts are concerned about the potential for AI models to degrade in quality over time if the input data isn't properly vetted. Reddit's user-generated content is a mixed bag, so the challenges for OpenAI in filtering out beneficial data from noise are real. But for now, Reddit is riding high. The shares have been climbing not just today, but steadily since their IPO. And while price targets are playing catch up with this surging tech stock, Reddit's growth trajectory looks promising. If you're invested or thinking about getting in on the action, this partnership definitely makes Reddit more intriguing. So there you have it, a monumental partnership between Reddit and OpenAI that's got everyone buzzing and stock prices soaring. Keep an eye on this as it unfolds. There's more excitement to come for sure. Microsoft hit the headlines today with a whirlwind of major tech developments across multiple fronts, making it a big day for the tech giant. Let's dive into the hot topics of the day, shall we? First up, there's big news for gamers. Microsoft plans to release the next installment of the legendary Call of Duty series on its Game Pass subscription service. This is a pretty monumental shift from the traditional model of selling the game a la carte. Call of Duty has been a juggernaut in the gaming world, raking in over $30 billion in lifetime revenue and selling around 25 million copies per year at about $70 each. By bundling this highly anticipated game with Game Pass, Microsoft hopes to lure even more subscribers to their platform, much like they did with the launch of Starfield last year, which set a record for new subscriptions in a day. Gamers, it looks like it's time to buckle up. But wait, that's not all. Microsoft is also facing some regulatory heat from the European Union. The EU has issued a stern warning to the company, demanding it provide internal documents related to the generative AI features of Bing or face hefty fines. The European Commission is particularly concerned about the potential risks associated with AI, including misinformation and voter manipulation ahead of the upcoming elections across the EU bloc. Microsoft has until May 27th to comply, or it could face fines up to 1% of its annual global income. Ouch. Switching gears to artificial intelligence, Microsoft is also making bold moves in the AI hardware sector. They've announced plans to offer AMD's MI300X AI processors on Azure, their cloud computing service, giving customers another option besides the ubiquitous NVIDIA chips. The news did wonders for AMD stock, which rose by 1.1% today. Microsoft will unveil more details about this game-changing move at their Build conference next week. This will mark another significant step in their ongoing competition with NVIDIA for supremacy in the AI hardware space. Meanwhile, on the home front of the AI battle, Microsoft has yet another feather in its cap, with a new report highlighting India's embrace of AI. According to the 2024 Work Trend Index from Microsoft and LinkedIn, a stunning 92% of knowledge workers in India are already using AI at work. This far outpaces the global average of 75%. The report emphasizes the need for companies to adopt AI to stay competitive, with a majority of leaders expressing concerns about their organization's AI strategy. Leaders are putting a heavy premium on AI skills, with 75% stating they wouldn't hire someone without them. Clearly, Microsoft's expansive AI strategies and investments are influencing markets around the globe, from regulatory challenges in Europe to workforce revolutions in India. Last but not least, Microsoft's upcoming launch of custom AI chips promises another wave of innovation. The new Cobalt 100 processors and Maya chips will be previewed at the Build conference. These efforts aim to offer alternatives to NVIDIA's high-demand GPUs, highlighting Microsoft's ongoing mission to diversify and fortify its AI and cloud computing ecosystem. In conclusion, today's tech news firmly places Microsoft at the forefront of gaming, AI, and regulatory challenges, proving once again that they are a force to be reckoned with in the tech world. Today's spotlight is all about Zscaler, the cloud security powerhouse, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol ZS. Let's dive into why they've been making waves. First off, there's been some intriguing activity in Zscaler's options market. Big money investors, often referred to as whales, have shown a significant interest with a bearish lean overall. Out of the latest trades, 36% were bullish, while a whopping 52% were bearish. Specifically, 16 were puts totaling nearly $1.67 million, and 9 were calls racking up about $1.11 million. The key price window being watched is between 130 and 220, which is quite a range. This kind of movement in the options market often hints at traders hedging their bets or preparing for a swing in the stock's price. But wait, there's more. Zscaler is also gearing up to present at the prestigious Bank of America Global Technology Conference. Scheduled for June 5, 2024, in San Francisco, this event could be a pivotal moment for the company as it showcases its advancements and strategic plans to investors. Make sure to mark your calendars and catch the webcast if you can. Additionally, Zscaler is set to release its third quarter fiscal year 2024 earnings on May 30, 2024. These earnings reports are always crucial as they give insight into the company's performance and future guidance. Definitely something to watch closely if you're an investor. On the tech front, Zscaler's new 2024 Threat Labs VPN risk report is turning heads. 
According to their survey, 56% of organizations experienced cyber attacks exploiting VPN vulnerabilities in the past year. Consequently, the push to shift from traditional VPNs to zero trust architecture is stronger than ever. With high profile breaches making headlines, Zscaler's focus on zero trust is in the limelight. Speaking of zero trust, Zscaler has teamed up with Google to bolster security through a joint zero trust architecture with Chrome Enterprise. This partnership aims to provide unparalleled security, especially in today's cloud-heavy work environment. This combo could be a game changer in protecting against advanced threats, phishing, and malware. So what do you all think about Zscaler's recent developments? Are the bearish options traders onto something? Or is Zscaler poised to overcome these odds with their innovative security solutions? Drop your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. Let's get the conversation rolling. And as always, stay secure in the ever-evolving digital landscape. All right, tech aficionados, let's dive into one of today's hottest stocks, Reddit. With all the buzz around Reddit's new partnership with OpenAI, the stock has surged up 14%. Now, should you hit that buy button, sell your shares, or just hold on tight? Let's unpack it. I'm in the buy camp for Reddit right now, but let me break down why. First off, this partnership with OpenAI isn't just your run-of-the-mill collab. ChatGPT, one of OpenAI's crown jewels, gets to tap into Reddit's treasure trove of user-generated content. That's a game changer. Essentially, this integration means ChatGPT will have access to a massive pool of real-world discussions, debates, and yes, even those hilarious cat memes, making it even more robust. More data usually means more accurate and useful AI, which is a win-win situation. Now, let's talk numbers. Reddit's stock has been on an upward trend since their IPO, and today's partnership news pumped it up another 14%. It's a strong indicator that the market is optimistic about where Reddit's headed. Plus, expanding data licensing beyond just Google's deal, and now with OpenAI, adds another revenue stream. Analysts are even suggesting that this could bolster Reddit's adjusted EBITDA by up to $54 million annually. That's no small potatoes. But there's a flip side. Some analysts are wary about the complexities of integrating and filtering Reddit's diverse, sometimes chaotic content into a functional AI tool. User-generated content can be a mixed bag, and yes, quality control is a real concern. However, with Reddit's robust community guidelines and OpenAI's proven track record, I see this as a calculated risk. For investors, this partnership translates to potentially higher user engagement on Reddit, new features, and a shiny halo effect from riding the AI wave. More eyeballs, more ad revenue, and more growth. Plus, Reddit's aggressive partnership pursuits show they're not resting on their laurels post-IPO. So for anyone looking to capitalize on this momentum and future growth prospects, buying Reddit stock makes sense. But remember folks, always do your own research. Stocks are about playing the long game and making informed decisions. Dive into the details, consider your risk tolerance, and don't just take my word for it. Happy investing. Wow, what a whirlwind of tech news today. Google is flexing its innovation muscles with AI enhancements and new features while navigating legal waters. Reddit is soaring with its hot new partnership with OpenAI, and Microsoft is shaking up the gaming world and AI hardware scene, all while dealing with regulatory hurdles. Zascaler is making waves with key market movements and upcoming strategic presentations. It's clear the tech world is buzzing with activity and opportunities. If you enjoyed this roundup, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your fellow tech enthusiasts. Come back on Monday for another exciting dose of tech news. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone.